These were not cruise ships. Uh, this was Army, with a capital A. So you would have normal uh, Army early starts. There would be a time for meals would be at fixed times, breakfast and that. Then there would be make and mend exercises, uh, going through your gear, cleaning the ship. Uh, and some of the Army officers were very, very strict. It's a difficult exercise because you've got a lot of men in a very confined amount of space. And it's a hierarchical thing, of course. The officers uh, if in the early voyages still had peacetime quality uh, cabins. Sometimes a cabin just to one person. And they had the promenade decks and all the nice spaces. So you're trying to juggle space for people to exercise, uh, to... Uh, undertake musketry drills, they were firing off the ship uh, at targets and that, and, and just to get some fresh air. So there were all sorts of traditional shipboard uh, games like quits and, and what have you. Tennis could be played in limited circumstances. There was lots of PE, physical jerks as they called it in those days, and they would run around the decks where that space was available. But the main thing that they did was to put on displays. So boxing and wrestling, which don't require too much space. There's plenty of photographs of all the men sitting around watching a couple of guys going for it. The army tried to control everything that a soldier did while on this 10 or 15,000 tonnes of steel. It wasn't always possible. New Zealanders were famous for gambling and they would have um, schools going of crown and anchor and two up and that was against army regulations so if they were caught then they would be subject to discipline. There was a, a little bit of alcohol aboard the ships, the army canteens sold alcohol and a, a, other little necessities. The complaint always was that where they were selling beer it was restricted to just a couple of bottles a day and the army overpriced everything in the canteens. The army did its best to keep them healthy but Anything like measles, and measles were a big problem for both the Australians and the New Zealanders at the start of the voyage. They could run through the ship. Uh, but they did carry medical staff, they carried doctors, and they carried male orderlies. And a lot of Kiwis actually took advantage of this. They got better health care than they would have at home. And they got what was known as the 21st birthday present, a number of diaries and letters talk about, you know, Mum, I I've have all my teeth taken out today. Because New Zealanders had an appallingly high sugar uh, diet before the First World War and dental care was as bad in terms of cost as it is today. So many men just had all their teeth taken out at once and replaced with false teeth. 